Hello, my name is Maddox Kafka, and my personal creative project is called What the Dog Doing? A Retrospective. So basically what this project is, is it's a set of three different drawings, each of a different pet of mine, and they're all done in a photorealistic style of drawing. <clears throat> so, um, I did this project because I've always wanted to get into photorealistic art, and I thought that this project would be a good way to motivate myself to get into it. And I chose to do drawings of my pets because I thought that because it's a subject material I care about personally, that I would it would make me more motivated to do the drawings. And it did. So um, there's three drawings. Uh, one is my best friend's dog. Another is my cat, who has now passed away. And the last is my dog, who is not passed away. I still have him. So this is the first drawing I did. Uh, this is Benny. This is my best friend's dog. Uh, he's very old. And as you can see, um, this drawing was done with pencil and colored pencil. There is some blue and yellow in the drawing. Um, so this was the first one I did. And it's definitely the worst out of the three. Um, I mean, the whole point of this project is that I get better at art. So uh, you'll see through the three drawings that they progressively get better. So this one is the roughest one. Um, it does look a little blurry, but that's okay. Here's the second drawing I did. This is my cat, Kitty Cole. She has now passed away. Um, this is the second drawing I did, and it is a little blurry um, because the drawing or the photo I used as a reference point was quite old and blurry, uh, and that is reflected in the final drawing. And this is the third and last drawing I did, and it's easily the best one, and I'm really glad it's the best one, because that means that over the course of the project, I actually did improve, which was my goal. So, this is my dog, Charlie. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with that drawing, honestly. Um, I, I didn't think I was actually going to be able to pull off something that actually looks somewhat photorealistic by the end of this project, but I did. So I got this idea uh, for this project, like I said earlier, because I've always wanted to get into photorealistic drawing, and I decided on the subject material of my pets because uh, because I've been starting college, I've been thinking a lot about what's important to me recently, and I realized my pets are important to me, so I wanted to draw some pictures of them. The biggest help I got in this project, I actually didn't personally consult anyone, but I did look at two art blogs online, and they were actually extremely helpful. There was a blog by Scott H. Young and by Joshua Neva, and both of these blogs gave me lots of tips and tricks on how to draw in a realistic style, and I actually did use almost all of the uh, tips they gave me, and it actually helped a lot. Um, it actually took me quite a while to figure out what this project was going to be. I really didn't know what I wanted to do for the longest time, and when I eventually came to the conclusion that I wanted to do something related to art, that's when I decided I wanted to do photorealistic art, and then I eventually came to the subject matter of my pets because that's what I thought would motivate me. The, the greatest challenge in creating this project was definitely time. Um, I didn't realize the level of patience that would be required to draw photorealistic art. I, I mean, I, I knew it would take some time, but it, it really was... I was sitting down for quite some time, for hours, making these drawings. Um, I also wanted to make more than just three drawings, but because of the due date of this project, I was not able to do so. If I, st if I came up with my idea sooner, I probably would have been able to make more, but it took me too long to come up with my idea, so. Um, but now that I've completed this project, I do want to do more photorealistic art. I would love to start drawing people as opposed to just animals. Uh, I definitely need some work on that, so I think 
the next thing I want to do following this project is I definitely want to start drawing some people. I really think that if I continue to improve upon what I've done with animals already and then I also start drawing people photorealistically, I think I could actually get pretty good at it. So I'll show these drawings one more time before I leave. Here's the first one. The first one I did. Here's the second one of my cat. And this is my dog. So yeah, uh, what the dog doing, a retrospective. Thank you.